You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrantz for Black and White Sports. Well, we're going to talk about the U.S. Women's National Team. The FIFA World Cup is going on right now. And I know many of you are not watching. I don't blame you. The very un American. They continue to disrespect the anthem while they're out there. Some of the players are respecting the anthem, but for the most part, no, they're not. They're not showing respect to our country, and many of you have decided to either hate watch the, the soccer and root for the other, uh, other country they're playing. I mean, when you consider your soccer team to be a bunch of communists, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, social justice warriors that are more concerned about social issues than playing soccer, and by the way, that is showing up on the field. We got a couple of members of that team that are not happy because, look, that draw versus the Netherlands was disastrous. Okay, that was disastrous. It was underperforming. All right, they expected to win that, and a couple of the players have made comments. And most importantly in all this, we have found out that really and truly, while Megan Rapino has got a couple of injuries, or does she? Megan Rapino has been benched. She has been benched for this U.S. national team, this FIFA World Cup. And uh, let's get to that first. We will also get to her dressing like a man before the match. She just come, came right in looking like a man and what she's rocking is new gender-free fashion. And you see what I'm talking about with more concerned with everything else. She's concerned about biological men playing in women's sports now that she's retiring. Sure, bring all the men on to the women's national team. Why would I care? I don't have to compete against them anymore. I'm leaving. As she begins her her plot to grift more money because of social causes. Let's look at this. Because a little curtain got peeled back by uh, SI yesterday. And I think it got lost in the uh, lost in translation, but I found it. The U.S. Women's National Team used a second half goal against the Netherlands on Wednesday to earn a 1-1 tie to remain in control of the 2023 World Cup destiny heading into Tuesday's group play finale against Portugal. One very familiar name didn't see any playing time against the Netherlands was Megan Rapino, who has been the face of the U.S. women's national team for over a decade. The legendary 38-year-old forward is retiring this year, and her role on this team has been completely different than it has been in the past. Why? There's a few reasons. First, she has been battling some injuries lately, and it's important to keep her fresh for later in the tournament. Ah, Ah, but you peel back the curtain a little further. Another reason for her lack of playing time is quite simply the team strengths now center around younger players like Sophia Smith. Guys, that's code word for being benched. You have been benched for better players. Plain and simple. Quote, in part... That will be a function of her of a return from injuries, a lower leg problem that kept her off the roster for the April friendlies, and another one suffered in June that she called quite minor. Hmm, quite minor, really? Let's go down. Her leadership can take many forms. If she doesn't complain about her role, how can the less decorated player? She also works with the young players on everything from shot selection to packing selection. Bring it all. She just makes me feel like I'm supposed to be in here to her not treating me differently, just keeping that high injury, uh, high inner energy, making me feel really comfortable and happy in the environment. Alyssa Thompson, the youngest player on the roster, 18, said, but mostly Rapino reminds me, reminds them all what they are doing. So, Plain and simple, it says, another reason for her lack of playing time is the team strength now centers around younger players. Guys, when things like that start getting said about players, you have been benched for somebody better. 
Plain and simple. We all know how this works in sports. If you perform better, the other player will play. And it looks like Megan Rapino has been benched. And look at where her head is at. Megan Rapino puts her own cool spin on the U.S. Women's National Team World Cup gender-free fashion collection. This woman doesn't give a rip about playing soccer anymore. There it is right there. Look at her. Brave, stunning, courageously dressing like a damn man. Walking into this tournament right here. Rapino made her own look wearing the Martine Rose designed outfit with a necklace, no undershirt, and it's blazer unbuttoned. Look at, I mean, that is, that is straight up dude wear. Okay. According to a press release by the athletic footwear and apparel brand, the outfits were made to be quote, gender free. And evolve player suiting and expand the culture of sport for the next generation. In the same statement, Rose shared that she wanted women to feel powerful in their suits like men do. More than that, although I'm using women to tell the story, there's no gender attached to the suit. Anyone can wear it. I hope one day we're not talking about gender in sport and are talking about the sport once everything is stripped back, it's just the game that's left. Mm, one's more entertaining than the other. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real. Rapino has been vocal about causes she believes in, including U.S. Women's National Equal Pay Lawsuit Supporting for Brittany Griner and Social Justice Reform. Wow. Let's take a look at it again. There it is. Brave, stunning, and courageous. There it is. There, she, there it is. I can't even say she. There it is. Wow. Wow. Look no further than crap like this that distracts a team from performing. And you got a couple of players that is not happy with what happened the other night. <laughs> I mean, Megan Rapino has been benched. Plain and simple, no other way to look at it. Younger players have squeezed her onto the pine. Players on the U.S. women's national team believe their performance against the Netherlands wasn't good, but they expect to improve. They made some comments, quote, I think the team is in a very good spot. I think we are a very close team, so we really lean on each other, and we're going to be honest with each other. Uh-oh. I don't think we were very happy with our performance, and we're okay with that. I think we're just an honest group, but we're very hopeful, and we know we're going to get the job done. It's always a chicken and egg situation. This was, uh, who said this? Sullivan did. Andy Sullivan acknowledged the U.S. women's uh, national team wasn't coordinated in the way it pressed the Netherlands, which created gaps on the field, particularly in the first half, quote, it's always a chicken and egg situation. If you don't step high enough, then it's hard for people behind you to read. If people behind you aren't reading, then it's hard for you to go. I think we weren't in sync. That happens. We were able to adjust and respond. Hopefully we do that earlier in the future, quote, of course, sometimes when you adjust, it's going to take a second to get on the same page. We have full confidence in each other no matter what. So these players, these players are not happy right now. That's definitely a challenge we're going through. We just kind of came together. Wow. They acknowledged a lack of playing time, etc. This is a mess. This is a mess. You 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 disastrously drawled against a Netherlands team you should have flat out beat. And now, and look, you can't tell me things like Megan Rapino wearing gender-free, dressed like a man suits, walking in. She's not focused on soccer, which in my opinion means if you're on the team, you are a distraction, plain and simple. You're more consumed with things away from the field than you are in the World Cup. 
I saw where the FIFA World Cup president or something just decided to leave the tournament. I mean, we got to remember, we're talking about a tournament where they had to give away 20,000 free tickets for people to even attend. You know, that happens. That happens. People, when you're not concentrated on soccer and you're concentrated on things off the field, fans recognize that and they don't want to watch. The biggest takeaway is, look, Megan Rapino. oh my goodness, she's got minor injuries. Oh, and we're letting young players play. That, that means you're benched. You have officially been replaced. You are benched for younger players. <laughs> Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.